The soil that covers U.S. farm and ranch land holds a remarkable story. It's a tale of success and setbacks. At its best, the soil beneath our feet is the source of life, food, and economic security. At its worst, degraded soil plagued by too much water or not enough can wash away or crumble farmer and rancher's livelihoods, which in turn threaten our food supply and entire communities. This is unprecedented stuff that we're going through. We have such big challenges in front of us with climate, with floods, with fire. They come together in how you take care of the soil. Most of the time, our farmers do not have a plan B. So flooding and erosion is very, very difficult for farmers sometimes to even jump back from. There is just some almost depression of that things are this getting this tough. 40% of all land in the U.S. is farm or ranch land, but it's at risk. Today, vast swaths of it are being plagued by an increasing frequency of volatile weather patterns. Your soil health is going to keep you in business. If you take care of your soil, the land will give back to you in terms of your productivity. Unhealthy soil doesn't absorb much water. Healthy soil acts like a sponge capable of holding hundreds of thousands of gallons of water in an acre. It can prevent erosion, runoff, and flooding. During a drought, the water in healthy soil keeps plants alive. When you increase organic matter in your soils, you're giving yourself more water. Start. One, two, three. If it rained two inches, it would have to rain it faster than 40 seconds to run off this ground. It can't flood. And what you can see is it's resilient to drought, too. I used to think of myself as a grass farmer. Now you hear a lot of people saying that they're farming the livestock below the ground or in the soil. So I think we're just now starting to realize really the importance of, of soil health and how it affects everything above the ground, too. Through a program called Soil for Water from the National Center for Appropriate Technology, an expanding network of farmers, ranchers, and land managers across the United States are discovering ways to regenerate their soil. A big part of what Soil for Water offers is people who understand where you're at and, and very well could have some solutions. I love to connect with farmers just by introducing myself and going to these academies or going to these workshops and sitting down and talking to somebody that I don't know, uh, just to learn from them. If we're gonna be successful ranching in the long term, we need to do a better job of working together with other ranchers and learn how to do things regeneratively and profitably. We have forgotten that it starts with what is beneath our feet, because if you don't care for what's beneath your feet first and foremost, then the rest of it really doesn't matter a whole heck of a lot. By using common sense practices like managed grazing systems, frequent crop rotations, livestock and plant diversification, and building soil biology, ground cover thrives and soil health improves. The effects of restoring the soil, then the plants above it, then the primary consumers and then predators has happened in this field before our eyes over the last two years. Starting in Texas following the mega drought there, soil for water grew to eight pilot states and is now open to farmers, ranchers, and land managers across the U.S. The goal for soil for water is to disseminate really useful information for land managers, producers to be able to improve their land for water capture. Soil for Water is a free and collaborative program with easy-to-use soil monitoring tools, workshops, and webinars. It offers an online network of resources, national experts, and peer-to-peer -peer forums to advance best practices in real time. Good to have more people looking at any problem than one person. It offers a chance to learn new things and to apply it to your land and to improve. It keeps hope going. In the collaboration process, I've already seen improvements. As we connect with more and more landowners, to see the light come on for them is very exciting. We did it. You know, that's, that's like a storybook. You can't fake that. 
The Soil for Water program shows us that regenerating soil is possible. Even under the hardest drought conditions, there are management steps people can take that will allow them to stay on their ranches and be sustainable over the long haul. We can keep more water in the ground, which nourishes our food, makes farms and ranches more productive and profitable, and creates resilient communities. I am fourth generation. I hate to be the one that fails and loses it. Uh, everybody else made it, I should make it. If all of us who manage land learn how to manage our soils and make them healthy so that they stay stable through weather forces, we are improving our land now and into the future. Learn more at soilforwater.org.